Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and we are gonna play with paper today. Okay, so if you've been watching me and, and you've been one of my subscribers first, thanks. Second of all, you know, one of the things I want to do this year is use and, well, make and use base pages. So what I'm thinking of, I have all these scraps left over from when I did 30 days of sketches and did um, my daughter's birthday party, and I'm gonna make some base pages with them. Um, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna store them. And then later this year, once we have 20, however long that takes, because I have no idea how many I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I'm sure I'm not gonna get 20, but once I get 20, then I'm going to do a little mini series called 20 base pages in 20 days, and I'm gonna use them all. That is my goal. I have people all the time, this is what led me to this, ask me, I love watching you make base pages. I make them, but then I don't use them. Well, I'm gonna help you do that. I'm gonna do that. This is the way I do it. I have a binder that I keep them in, and once I get 20, I do have one kind of exception, and I'll talk about that at the end when we put these away, because we're gonna put them away too. Um, when I get 20, I'm going to do 20 base pages in 20 days, and I hope you'll join me. I don't know when that's gonna happen. We'll have to see how long it takes us to get up 20 base pages made. But for now, we're gonna see how many we can get. So I'm gonna go over again how I do base pages. This is just all the scraps from 30 days of sketches. I keep them in my awesome, I love these things. If you guys have not checked these out yet, if you haven't gone and gotten these, get them. I used to use the bags, but I hated all the crinkling. And I'm gonna tell you, I think they took more room. These, when you buy them on Amazon, they take so much less room and you can get a lot more than you think in there. And you can get them on sale sometimes over on the Ginger's Corner Facebook group. If they go on sale, I always post it. Um, they're under a buck a piece. Like, it's worth it to me. I just buy a few at a time. Now I have a pretty good collection of them, but boy, these just slide in and out of my shelf. Easy peasy. And no crinkling, no hanging up. It's amazing. I'm just saying. The Amazon link is in the description, but you can just look up um, 12 by 12 paper storage and they'll, they'll come up too. You don't have to do the ones I do. All right. So, um, let's see. I start off by, I grab myself a set of white bases. I do have black ones on my desk as well, but I'm going to set those aside. Then I'm going to sort. Now these, remember I made all those page kits with 49 and market. So there's going to be some, a lot of 49 and market, but that's okay. I love it. And I will definitely use it. So anything that is 12 inches long is a large scrap for me. And I sort my scraps by large, medium, and small. Small, I end up using for embellishments down the road. Um, when I do my scraps and embellishments, those are the ones I use for that. I'll sort them by color, and that's what I use. Um, medium and large, I make my base pages out of. I don't care if it's an inch thick. If it's 12 inches long, it's large enough to fit the entire span of the paper, and I find that I use them better that way. That's just me. Do it however you like. But I start off by sorting my scraps. So these will all be medium. Now, Obviously, these are full sheets of paper, so they're going to be on their own. This is a medium. Just Now, this is a full 12 inches, so it's large. So I'm going to put... I didn't think I'd have so many bases left, but I gave myself lots of options. And whatever I don't use making these base pages, oh, I will be putting them away. Like, those first two were Ledger, 49 and Market. These are, I believe, Curator. Isn't that what these are? I don't remember. Oh, look at that stitching. That's lovely. That's lovely. Okay. So another 12 by 12, see like I put that in cardstock. I mean, I might use it today, but if it doesn't get used today, it will be put away. That's my goal to get my space cleaned up and redirect where I'm using things. Gosh, there was a lot. Are all these, I think all these are 12 by 12s. Okay, but we can use them as bases too. So we'll see what happens. So we got large, we've got medium, and then I put all these kind of scraps in a page protector. That way I'm not digging. They don't get all in the way. They don't get caught up on full 12 by 12. So that's gonna go in large. Now these are small. Um, I'm gonna put that in medium. I might be able to layer something, okay? Now this goes in my little milk crate because that's definitely scraps to embellishments material right there. Oh, I dropped a piece. All right, and let's see here, medium. So I'm gonna sit here now the strips, I do put in a different one. 
Um, is that a full 12? No. Okay, and yep, I kept all the border strips. Some of them even ended up in my Pringles can. Just like that. Let's see here. Definitely um, small, small. Okay, so now I have three, AKA four, right? I've got large, medium, small, then I've got border strips, okay? Now, here's how I sort this. I do have a TV tray, okay, that sits next to me, and it, it's a larger TV tray. You can get them at Walmart. Maybe if I can remember, I'll put it up here. In fact, let me write a note. TV tray photo, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. Old people problems, I forget stuff, I forget it. Okay. TV tray in base page layout. Layout. Okay, note number one. Might be making more notes. I just, I've been trying to be better about putting in videos. Sometimes one gets by me and it edits and I don't, but I do my very best. And you can always comment. I will always answer you. Might take me a hot minute, but I'll get there. All right, so my, my small scraps I keep off to the side here. My medium and large, I put on this um, TV tray, okay? Hopefully I remember, put it here. Um, these can just stay up there, they're not gonna be in my way, all right? So since I have so many 12 by 12 papers, I will stack those with my white cardstock. And here's here me, put it all together here. I'm gonna get a drink. My um, semi-glutide shot, oh, lately it's just been making me so thirsty, which is good, it means it's working. So let me grab a drink. And let's play with them paper. Now, obviously, if you watch 30 Days of Sketches, you know it's a green and yellow. It's what we're going to be going for. Green and yellow. That's the scraps I have, which is okay. Totally okay. Let's start with a white base before I go anywhere. And let's just do a formula. Why don't we do one large scrap and two medium? Because I have more medium than large. So, I'm loving this paper right there. That's very pretty. I'm liking that. Maybe we'll do a monochromatic green. I will grab my cutter because I can see that there is a border strip still on it. So, boy, let me tell you, after cutting that 49 on market paper, 30 days, I did 30 layouts, and let, uh, I had to replace my blade. 49 on market paper is heavy. Like, it's heavy paper, right? So, yeah, it was in need of a refresher. I don't know where this is gonna go. Oh, I like the mixed media part in this. This is not a 49 market paper though. And to ask me now at this point in these kits what that is, no clue. No clue. <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm not even close to that good. Okay, so then I have some mediums. We're shooting for monochromatic. That would kind of work. This is why you gut your papers, right? Whenever you map them or something, because you can 100%, 100% create base pages with them later. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, eh, that's, that's not green enough. I ain't liking it that much. I ain't, I ain't gonna do it. Um, This could give us green vibes if we inked it. We could go like that, like that. Most of our photos now are not horizontal, they are vertical. And what if I even took this, cut it in half, and had it peeking out? So, why not? Let's do it to it. I don't know how, well, it's more than six, so we'll go three and a half. Nobody's gonna know, I'm not even gonna know. And then you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna ink every single one of these green. Why not? Let's just play with the green. Okay, let's just, I think I want it that way. That way's wider. Yeah, we're gonna flip that around. All right, so let me ink these. Let me temporary adhesive them down and that'll be base page one. Okay, so now I have them all inked. When I went to ink this paper, okay, I realized that this side, I like this side better, which worked out very well. And I decided to ink most of the pieces in black, except for this one here, because I want to give it a green tone. This is more of a beige, but against all these greens, it's definitely a, um, it looks green, right? Plus, I think this would lead me, did I not put, yeah, it helps put a temporary adhesive on there then. Um, 
It also gives me a gateway to use stars for a lack of a better way to say it because there's stars on here. So I will put close-ups of each base page at the end. I haven't done that in the past and someone asked me to do that. So I will definitely do that. And look at that, that's a cool base page. All I have to do is mat a photo, maybe put a title and a few stars, it'll be done. So there's one, we've created one, yay! Let's see what we can do next. All right, let's try, I know that I had several of the 49 and Market ledger papers. Let's, let's use one of those, okay? Let's cut off the branding strip. It's a brand new paper, but you know, technically to us right now, it's a scrap. And then we will grab one large, and last time we ended up using three, but at least two mediums and see where we can get, okay? So there we go. And you know, my goal is to use what I have. I do not wanna be pulling stuff out. Let, let's go with that. Oh boy, that blends in. I hope you guys can see that. Um, I can't save these papers forever in a day. I mean, I guess I could. But what good is that gonna do me? It, it's not, like, it's not gonna do me any good at all. All right, hmm, boy. Now I said medium, but how could I do this? Food for thought. This is how I do it, you guys. I, I don't sit here and have a plan. I just play. I have all these black scraps. Honestly, I won't be sad if these end up in my, um scraps because I use black all the time when making embellishments. I'm not gonna stress about that. Ooh, I have these. Oh, this is coming along. Okay, this is beautiful. Would you believe I have had this paper? Oh my gosh, over 10 years, over 10 years. I kind of like where that is going. How wide is that? I mean, I do have to be mindful. Oh yeah, it's more than four, so I could put and, and is it too long? What if I cut these down to six and a half by four and a half? Is that, oh, they're not quite. Are they four and a half? No, not quite. So four and a quarter. So six and a quarter by four and a quarter or just six by four and a quarter? Hmm, things that make you go, hmm. I'm almost sad to cover this up though, but I can't keep it forever, right? Like just had that whole conversation with myself. <laughs> Oh, there's three. Oh, I can keep that one. Eureka. Okay, I feel better. I think because here's what I'm seeing. Do you guys do this? Do you guys see like what you would do with this? I do. When I start doing a base page, I'm like, okay, I could put two photos on here and I could have a cluster here and a cluster here, even because this is longer, right? I could do a mini cluster. And if I pull this down enough, I could put the title right in the middle. And maybe I can use two strips, border strips from my strips. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Be using what I got. Oh, this is nice. I like this one. It looks like tickets. That's cute. Okay, I do like that one. Some may work, some may not. See, that one's too small. But what if I did one going that way? Or I do have this one. I mean... It might work. I could. I mean, I got the ticket thing going on. This has a border strip on it, so I won't. I, you know what though? I would leave because right there's the border strip. I like the four and the nine, and I cut this plain side up here, so that'll give it a little bit more of a ticket vibe, like this one. Hmm. This one has color in it though. That one does not. I don't. Ooh, I kind of like this one. <laughs> I mean, it's 49 to work. What is there not to like? <sighs> oh, memories. Look. <gasps> that could go across there. Eureka. It totally could. It totally could. We could do memories. What if I were to go like this? Fresh seed. Because the, remember I used that country. What was the name of it? Country something. Country. It wasn't even that long ago, Ginger. How do you not know this? I mean, come on now. Ooh, this one has tickets. <laughs> I get distracted too easy. Squirrels. <laughs> They're sun-kissed. I could go that route. Okay, focus, Ginger, focus. <sighs> it's too hard. I can't. 
there's today. I could, and it says moments. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. I really like the memories and I know I have some bees left, but I like this. That is super cute. Kind of want two strips to flank this off, but do I? Oh no, it's going to rise. Uh, see, struggle is for me too. I mean, I have too many ideas. That's the problem. It really is the problem. It's not that I can't figure it out. It's just that I have too many ideas going in my head. Mm, okay, I think I have an idea. I have this short one. Oh, I must have stamped on that. Life is made of moments. Amen to that. All right, here's what I'm thinking. What if I push these back together? This here and this here, okay? Then I cut this in half and I make like a ticket. This one would say today, has a little bird. And then cut it here and this one will say moments. And I ink everything, okay? Let's, let's focus here like that, just like that. And yeah, it is a lot of brown, but I'm okay with that. Sometimes brown is good. Brown is our friend. <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut this short and I could even, just to have a layer maybe, cause I like sets of three. So I'm gonna use these three branding strips. I'm gonna come back. This is gonna make more sense, I promise. And maybe we'll use some washi tape down here. All right, let me do that. Okay, you guys, so I have, I used my invisible ruler, I, as Terry calls it, I've put this all down with temporary adhesive, and now I need to basically make some little tag, or, I don't know, strip clusters, okay? So, I've already inked them, I've cut all of them, and I've inked them, and then I'm just gonna sit here and see what I like, okay? And I'm gonna make them before I put them down. And I will temporarily put them down, but I will permanently glue these. So let me grab my glue bling out. And so I'm going to put a little strip right here. We're just gonna have some fun with it. I actually think I wanna put this one first. And I'll try to work fast in case I just, in case I change mine. Don't worry about the end because you give yourself enough leeway that you can cut it even. Cause when we're all done, I can cut this even. So then I wanna put a little bit here, like so. And then all I'm gonna do is cut it even once it dries. So I'm gonna let that one dry for just a second. Straighten it out just a tad with that um, ledger paper. I can just follow the line, okay? So then I'm gonna cut it even here and ink it, but we'll let it dry because we don't wanna get any glue on our um, cutter, for lack of a way to put it. All right, there's that one. And then, now this one, I didn't have quite a long enough spot, but that's all right, that's all right. Maybe I'll even just leave, I think I'm gonna leave the squirrel off and we'll just kind of go with a the bird theme. That works too. So let's see, how did we do that on the last one? We could go all the way to here and I'm just making my scraps work for me. Okay, so I'm going to put a strip of glue here. And I can always glue it more later if I need to. Just like that, okay? And once I have this top, then I can just run a little dab of glue right underneath there. I guess we're doing more than just making beige pages. We're making base clusters. <laughs> Is that what they're called? I don't know. Okay, and then we will also go, hmm, how do I want this? I think I want it this way, like so. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a stream, strip, stream, whatever you wanna call it, of glue there. And I'm not, I'm going to take the squirrel off because like I said, I can totally just um, cut it all even, just like that. We'll just have a little bit peeking out, but you can tell it's three. Okay, so on this one, these are pretty close. I think I can eyeball it, knock on wood. All right, so that one is going to go right up here. 
like that. I should ink this edge though. Now I wanna put it with temporary because I can take it off. What if I decide I don't like that? Okay, just like that. And then this one, we're gonna go even here. Hopefully I'm not cutting anything off like the bird's head. Be bad. Oh, we're not decapitating things around here. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put just a little temporary and I'm going to go just like that. Okay. I still kind of want something here. So let's look. I'm not a washi tape, washi tape girl, but today could be the day, right? I mean, I could go with a fall. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Let's, let's try these two. Oh, I'm very sorry for that noise. Um, I have this wood grain. Eh, it's too matchy. This gives us a little bit of color. Now, question, can I find the end? Hmm, maybe not. So let's turn it and let's use it as our border strip. Instead, give it a little bit of something. I'm pretty proud of myself. I don't do this that often. Yeah, that'll give it a fall mode, but I'm all right with that. Now I know to do it twice because it won't show up strong enough for me. I just, I try to line it up so the pattern's on top of the pattern. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna pull this up and we're going to fold it over. All right, one side done. Pretty sure this is an Echo Park tape. There we go, made another base page, two. All right, two down. Let me put my bling back in my glue before it won't go in there and clean up. I have to clean up a little bit. I mean, obviously I'm making base pages, so it's gonna get a little messy, but I can't handle stuff everywhere. It's just not an option for me because then I get frustrated and my creative doesn't work. And yeah, my brain shuts down. It's like, no, 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 stop. <laughs> that doesn't mean if you like stuff everywhere, my bestie um, in real life, like, Misty, she got stuff everywhere. I can't. I'm just like, oh, let me just pick it up for you. <laughs> she just laughs at me because she knows me. She's known me for ages. And she knows I mean it with a loving heart. I just, I just want to help. Okay, so I had this paper. I think I had it for the yellow. Um, This is out of my full sheet, right? So I have, ooh, isn't that pretty? This is pretty. I wanna use this somehow. Maybe we should get some white. That's pretty with that too. I mean, mm, mm. it's downright gorgeous, isn't it? Looks like a beautiful sunset. Okay, no, I think I could do this too, but grateful. Just start trialing and erroring. I like that. I like those together. Like I like the yellow against that black and white bumblebee vibes, right? Maybe I've been doing too much bumblebee. I don't know. We could use a border strip. I mean, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. I do like that. Is it upside down? Oh my goodness. I can't see y'all. Um, yeah, it was upside down. We have that. That's pretty. Hmm. Okay. What else do we got? What else do we got? Oh, look, we could do it again. I mean, I could let this be my title. I could break it up and put sun kissed or, <gasps> but see, then it's got the grateful. Let's, all right, new idea. We're not gonna use this base. We're gonna find a different base. Let's see what we can find. I know, y'all probably like, come on, gender, figure it out, figure it out. Well, I have to think. And my brain hurts. It hurts. Oh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. Okay. Well, this is countryside gaggle. Um, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Hmm. You know what I want to do? I want to go just like that. I want to ink this in red. Sorry. <laughs> New plan. I could even use, is this one short? Yeah, that one's short. 
This one is not. Oh, I could use the wood grain. Of course, it's too short. Why wouldn't it be? That's pretty too. Hmm. We could do the bumblebee. I mean, it gives me a picnic vibe. Hmm. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. This is just how it goes. Um, let's see. Let's see. I, I just like that. I need black. That's what I need this strip right here. So we're going to cut this strip off. I'm going to put it on here. And I think I saw a black border strip that got stuck in my papers. Oh, I did ask Anisha will receive. Look. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. This is going to just be like a title or something, place for a cluster. I'm going to cut this off. Now, if you're seeing this, you're just fast forward. Remember, we had these full pages, right? Because I know people fast forward. I fast forward. I'm not offended. Do what you got to do. If it's not keeping your attention, I get it. Okay. So we're going to cut off this border strip. Yep, I just left all that mess right down there. <laughs> just like that. And I'm going to go just like this. Look at this. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, it's because it's red, but I absolutely love it. This, I just see like a, even a recipe page. Okay, I want to ink this red. Yes, I'm putting the black, but I want to bring this red up here. So I have my favorite red. There it is and lumberjack plaid. I have both. Okay. Oh, oh, Mayday. Good thing that was dry. <laughs> I can't with me. I just can't. <sighs> How many are you like, slow down, Ginger. <laughs> I get excited because my brain works. <laughs> oh, if you're new to my videos or you're a new subscriber, this is how I roll. <laughs> Gosh, I hope y'all are laughing with me. I really do. Okay. Although I've had people tell me I'm annoying, so that's all right. I hope you find someone who inspires you. I really do. That's always my reply when somebody negative comments. And I take those. They have the right to their comment. Just like that. Yeah, they're two different, but at the same time, it's from 49 and Market, so the blacks are gonna match. Yes, this one has a graphic, this one doesn't. I'm okay with all of that. I can have some kind of a cluster up here, but photos, this is a beautiful base page. Love this base page. So we have three, okay, three. Then let's get white. Let's just get some white. Let's do it. We have a lot of green scraps for some reason. A lot of my whole scraps are yellow, so. Oh, I'm so on the fence with this. I really am. I don't want to cut it because I absolutely love this page. So then the question is to myself, should I make a summer one? And the answer is yes. Yes, I should. I love this. So I could ink this in black. Uh, this is a border strip, so we'll have to cut that off. This one is obviously Bella Boulevard. Okay. I must have just used a strip of it. Then I could ink this in black and put this here. And I almost want to do the tickets too. Like going to a movie or something. And this would already be my title on my page or part of it, right? I mean, cause you could put like a big hello and then have sun kissed. Do I need the tickets though? That's the question going through my brain. The answer is probably not. I do like this one. This one has just like, gives it that ledge almost. I could totally 100% flip this whole thing this way, right? And I can decide that when I use a base page. It's just a base. So let's do this. Then we'll have another base page. So what I do with my friskers friend, my frisky friend. <laughs> Oh, y'all, I need to get out more. It's a fact. I just do. Okay. So, frisky friend here. When you can't figure out, like, you can't see, I can barely, I mean, I see it. I'm blind as a bat. We, we've established this. But remember, all 95%, they're a quarter of an inch, right? So, just line it up on your quarter of an inch if you're not short. I do that more times than I can tell you. All right. So, then 
And yes, I am inking right now. I know myself. I know my style. I like to ink. I'm not going to deny it. That's what I like. So that's what I'm going to do. In fact, hmm, I mean, you could leave it plain, but the nicer the base page is for me, this is me, okay? The nicer the base page is, the more I want to play with it. 100% true. You know, if I like it now, I'm going to like it later. And it'll be easier for me to do when I do it. All right. So now I'm going to ink the edges of these. And then I'm just going to put them down. And we'll be done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. I'm all done. So look what inking did. 100% changed it, didn't it? And it's more um, enticing to me when I flip through, because we're, we're gonna put these away at the end. So there is another base page. Let's see, I still have all these green strips. Maybe I got distracted. <laughs> let's see what we can do. All right, let's try to do one more, one more. We have these full pages. I'll be honest with you, I just don't want to put things away. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, we already used one of those. I don't necessarily want to. We have this one. Hmm. Yeah, that's not working for me. Could do a play on this one. I mean, we have that side. Maybe make the paper do the work kind of thing. I am. I don't know. I don't know. We could save that for later too. That's not gonna work. This one. Yeah, I mean, we could do a few banners. Okay, let's just grab a white white base because this is not working for me. So we're going to grab a white. No wrong in that. And I have this piece. Okay, let's see. What else do I have? I'm, I have a mess. That's what I have over here. We've got large scrap, large scrap. We've got another scrap. And then I've almost used all my medium. Go, Jen. <laughs> totally impressed with myself. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and yes, I'm laughing at myself too. Okay. So we have that. We have a few border strips left, which that doesn't stress me out. I'm good with those. Um, we have some more green. I use this, but I, I think I'm gonna save that. I'm going to use that. That's okay. All right. So these, I think, are gonna end up in my scraps. We're gonna go all green here. And... Hmm, we could just do a banner base or an L design. Oh, what's this one? Is this a pretty green too? Oh, it is, but that's, uh, that's the wrong color green. Like that's, no, that has to go in scraps. I can't do that one. Okay, so here's, here's what my brain is thinking. We've got this one. We've got this one. We have an L design with strips. Then I could do this one, just layer it, right? Or I'm thinking, cut this border strip off and do this one, okay. Now, this one, I'm not gonna ink it, I'm not, because I don't know what I'm gonna wanna do in the future, I don't have a clue. But, and I don't feel like I need to ink this one to entice me, it's just going to be a very no lack of a better way to put it, generic base page, mm, dare I say. We're just going to do lots of green, and green is always good. Like that. Now, I have these two. I mean, we could just keep going. Why not? Ooh, this one's pretty. Mm. I like that one there. Okay. This one. And then this one. Why not? Is this a full one? It is. I kind of want this one instead. I mean, that is gorgeous. It really is. But this has the variated. And I feel like that would work good. I like that. Okay. We're going to put it all down. And then I think we're going to be done. I mean, we did pretty good. Okay. So, could I ink all this in green? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I'm just being lazy right now. Probably could maybe it would give some more i'm sitting here talking myself into it y'all that's what i'm doing no i'm not going to okay <laughs> How many of, i bet people are just like okay i'm done with this chick we're done here's your sign <laughs> that's 
it's okay. That's all I'm doing is layering, right? That's it. Ooh. <gasps> Turn things over, Ginger Lee. Yes, that is my middle name. And yes, I am yelling at myself. Oh, isn't that pretty? But I almost, yeah, it has to go that way, right? Because this is kind of variated. All right, well, new plan again. I'm going to put this one on top. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing things. I know, nobody's shocked. Not even me. Okay. Like so. There we go. Got another base page. And this could go in so many ways, right? We could turn it this way, have a title across here, grid of photos. We could go this way. I mean, lots of ways we can do. All right, there we go. Let me pick up. I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how I put these away. Hang in there. Okay. So here I am and how I store my base pages. Okay. This is a binder. It is a cheap binder I got on clearance, I don't know, forever ago. And I have them in sleeves so that I'm not, one, everything's temporary put down, right? So I don't want it to catch and get ripped and ruined. I don't want to do that. I don't want to dig through an iris bin. I want to, now this is one that was gifted to me by my friend, scrappy friend, Nancy. This is one that I made a long, long time ago. Um, and whoops, that came out. Um, so I can just simply flip through here and see my base pages kind of know a color scheme. These are the ones we made today. We made one, two, three, four. I think we made five, right? Five. Um, these are some Christmas ones. Now these I don't count in my 20, right? Um, there's another base page that I have done. I don't count these because you're only going to use them once a year. So, so far to use this year, I have two, four, five. I count this as one. That's six. Yes, two page ones are one for me. Seven, have seven. We gotta make it till 20 and then we'll do 20 base pages in 20 days. So we'll just keep making them. I'll come back with another video when I have some scraps to do. I hope you'll hang out with me. I hope you're inspired to use up those scraps and, and make base pages. I really do. I hope you'll join me when it's time to do them with that. I do have other base page um, making videos. I'll put that in the description of this video if you're interested in that. Thanks for dealing with me. Am I crazy? Am I throwing things? Am I laughing? I hope you laughed and felt creative and inspired. That's always my goal. Um, if you like base page videos, give it a thumbs up. That's how I know you like them and I will continue to do them. If it doesn't get a lot of thumbs up when the new year comes, I omit videos that you guys aren't interested in because I don't want to bore you. I'm boring enough. I'm not that entertaining. So with that said, thanks for hanging out. Be blessed. And I will see you next time. Bye.